Hello guys, this is Harpreet. I am your instructor for F5 load balancer classes. So guys, this is a short video in which I will describe how you can add a Linux server which use very less resources of your host machine and also how you can add the HTTP service on this Linux machine. So let's begin guys. So guys, this is the URL link from where you can download this Linux image. And for our lab setup, the image that we are going to use is this TTY Linux. There are two options to download. We will select the first one. Now I have already downloaded image with me. So if, when you will unzip it, you will see there are three files in this zip folder. The second step would be guys, you will see what is the IP of your EVNG. Once you know it, so we will connect to it via WinSCP. So as you can see, I have connected to my EVNG IP and you will use your default uh, username like root and uh, password as Eve. So once you log in, you have to go to this location, OPT, unit lab, add-ons, QEMU. So once you reached here, then you will create a new folder with this name itself, Linux, uh, hash TTY Linux, this folder. After creating this folder, then you will copy this file and paste it here. Now, as you can see, the file which I have is different. The name of the file is not matching, right? So first you have to copy this file and you have to paste this file here. So in step three, guys, you will log in into your EVNG by SSH. We can log in via here as well. Like if I type the username as root and password as Eve, so I'm able to SSH this EVNG image from the VMware itself also. After login here, what you have to do is, you have to go to this location first, and this is the new folder that we have created. If and we DK have noticed file, here, we actually is, have to convert uh, it to dot v dot dk file. To file. We actually have to convert and it this to command this dot is actually what you have to file. use. It will, and this command, uh, is actually what you have to use it will uh, using this command you would be able to convert this vmdk file into qcow2 and once you have converted your file and later on from your winscp itself you would see you also have this sta file and you also have this older file so you can delete the older file as you can see i also have this new file with the extension qcow2 so guys the steps that we followed from one to three we download the linux image we added it in the evng now we will add this linux image as a node in the evng and we'll see what steps we have to do on this Linux server. Now, if I do the right click and I'm try to add the node, if I scroll down and if I see the option for the Linux, so you would see this, this is now showing as the blue. And if you also have like other Linux images, you would see the options for them also. So this is the one that we have just recently added. So you select this Linux TTY Linux image. And you will use these options uh, as it is. Either you can also reduce the RAM from 4GB to 2GB. In my lab, I have tried to do this and uh, there is no issue with the, this Linux functioning. One important thing that you have to take in care. So you have to use this Nick option 
from this default one to this E1000. Otherwise, it won't show the interface uh, under the ifconfig command. So I have already run this TTY Linux machine that I have already added in the in my lab setup. On the username Linux and server, password is actually you actually have here. to perform so two changes, the guys. Username so is first root. of all, we'll change the IP of this Linux machine. Password is. If you see password. in my lab setup. On this side, so I'm once running you log in into the, this machine, you will see this you side, are I'm running this, this subnet uh, as 10.0.0.0 slash 24. So to this Linux server, I would assign the IP in the same range. In order so to do on this that, TTYL, in order to so do this that, this is this the command Linux guys, server, that you have. You to actually use. have to perform two changes, guys. So first of all, we'll change the IP of this Linux machine. If you see in my lab setup, on this side I'm running the on this side I'm running the subnet as 10.0.0.0 slash 24. So to this Linux server, I would assign the IP in the same range. In order to do that, on this side, I'm running the subnet as 10.0.0.0 slash 24. So to this Linux server, I would assign the IP in the same range. In order to do that, this is the command guys that you have to use. So once you type this command guys, and once you press the enter, so this is how it will show you. Uh, here is the option to change the IP address. This is the subnet mask. This is the network 10.0.0.0. This is the subnet mask. This is the gateway and this is the broadcast IP. So if you want to change the value as per your lab setup, you just have to press I so that you would insert in this file. And after that, you just have to change the values according to your lab setup. Once you have done your changes, you just have to press escape then you have to press double colon and if you want to save your changes you will say w for write and q for quit and just press the enter once you have done these changes you also have to use this command so that the changes that you have done they would take effect So on this web server, the web service is already running by default. What we just have to do is, we just have to write this HTML page. And later on, you can just save the file and exit from this location. And after that, guys, you, this server is ready and it's also running the web service. So now let's do the final testing, guys. So from this, testing machine if I so from this testing machine if I try to hit the VIP IP is I, if I press enter so it is showing me this this is server one and if I go back to my server and when you notice guys the settings for the HTML page that we will do, we have to do it in bash shell. If, if I go to this bash shell and if I go to the location, so if I read the content of this index.html file on the server, the content that I have written is this is server one. And this is the same that we can see on the HTML page that we are seeing on the testing machine. And the background color is red. If you're deploying multiple servers, so in each server you can set a different color and the content would be according to the server. Like if you have server one, two, three, and four, on the second server, you will type here, this is server two, and you will set the background color as different. This word file and the link to download the Linux image is given in the description box guys. Hope you'll find this video recording very useful. 
and let's meet in the new F5 training session guys.